some of the most private and sensitive data on your Apple devices can be found in your Messages application. There are two ways in which Apple devices can send and receive text messages. First, it can use the standard SMS text messaging system, and that's based on a protocol that's over 30 years old. An SMS does not support encryption and can be easily sniffed out in transit between your app device and the cellular tower. The second more robust solution that Apple came out with is iMessage. And iMessage utilizes end-to-end -end encryption, meaning that no one can execute a man-in-the-middle attack and read the contents of your iMessages. However, there are some caveats when using the Messages app, especially when it comes to involving iCloud or messages in iCloud. And in this video, I'm going to go over the differences between standard data protection, advanced data protection, and that how that and how that goes along to securing your iMessages on your device. While it is true that iMessages are end-to-end -end encrypted, therefore stopping any man-in-the-middle attack, the manner in which the private key is held to decrypt your iMessages varies on the level of data protection that you place on your iCloud account. I'm going to read directly from the Apple support document describing the features and the differences between the different levels of data protection. Messages in iCloud, standard data protection. Messages in iCloud is end-to-end -end encrypted when iCloud backup is disabled. When iCloud backup is enabled, your backup includes a copy of the messages in iCloud encryption key to help you recover your data. If you turn off iCloud backup, a new key is generated on your device to protect future messages in iCloud. This key is end-to-end -end encrypted between your devices and isn't stored by Apple. That means the moment you turn on iCloud backup, a copy of that private key is sent up to Apple. That means that if a government agency decides to step in and compels Apple to un unencrypt your text messages, they are able to do so and Apple and law enforcement can read your iMessages because iCloud backup is activated. Now, if you want to get around that, here's the second part. Advanced data protection. Messages in iCloud is always end-to-end -end encrypted. When iCloud backup is enabled, everything inside of it is end-to-end -end encrypted, including messages in iCloud encryption key. So once you turn on advanced data protection, that private key is no longer accessible by Apple nor anyone else. The term end-to-end -end encryption is essentially a buzzword to make users think that their communications from device to device will be unreadable by any third party. However, as we've seen, the moment you turn on iCloud backup using standard data protection, Apple is going to receive a copy of the private key so they will be able to decrypt any messages stored on their servers. So the way around that is to use advanced data protection. And to do that, you're going to have to run at least iPadOS 16, iOS 16, Mac OS Ventura, or any other devices like the Apple Watch, I believe, to Apple Watch version 9. So you do have to have relatively recent operating system updates enabled. And because of that, you are going to use advanced encryption. But if you lose your iCloud password, all of your data is going to be destroyed. So that's the only thing about using advanced data protection. But if you have your iCloud password just memorized and in your head, you shouldn't have any problem utilizing advanced data protection. Just make sure you set up a recovery account or that you never forget your password. So that's how advanced data protection protects your text messages, even though it is end-to-end -end encrypted. All right, that's about it. Peace.